Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is another video about hacking the Velosters, uh, the 2012 to 2017 base model Veloster, and I'm sure this works for the nav uh, version as well. Uh, the uh, head unit, sorry, I was trying to get my words out. This is a video all about hacking that head unit. Basically today I'm going to show you guys how to extract the actual firmware ISO and get the data out of the uh, firmware so you can go in, see the name of the files, and modify them. At a later date, there will be like a part two where I show you how to install a custom theme to your Veloster's head unit. Um, but today, I'm just going to show you how, to, how I'm going to make a theme and how I extract all those things. So first of all, I'm going to upload these tools um, to one of my websites and have a download link for them soon. They're tools that I found on XDA Developers. Um, underneath a section that was a couple years old. Um, probably 2014 is when these posts were from. This is the DIR to LGU and LGU to DIR. Right now, the only one that's important is LGU to DIR. Um, the reason for that is the files inside here, the uh, drive h.iso, which is the firmware file, are the, those are the files that you need to extract. So as you can see, when you open up the ISO with uh, WinRAR, because you can do that, it's basically just a compressed file. Give it a moment. I had a lot of stuff running on my computer a second ago. You can basically see that everything in here, uh, the upgrade, IPC, everything in here, this LGU is the biggest file. That upgrade LGU houses the main system files. So what you're going to want to do is you have this LGU file right here. We're going to just make a test folder here and you're going to want to open up a command prompt with this LGU to DIR file uh, extractor. So you're going to hold shift, right click, open command window here. Let's make it white so you people can see it. And you're going to want to do LGU to DIR.exe and that'll give you the how to extract right there. So you'll do LGU to DIR, LGU file is upgrade, and then the out folder is test. Oh, come on. I forgot to put the period. LGU. There we go. And it'll start extracting all the files from that LGU file, uh, file to right here into the test folder. As you can see, it's all right there. You get two storage cards. It's already complete. It is, or actually, no, it's not. There's a lot of files, I forgot. But as you can see, very simple to extract this. And now you have all the system files. Well, almost all of them. Something really cool that I'm going to make a separate video on in the future is I actually discovered that running on our head units is Windows CE 6.0 R3. I wrote that info down, did about three and a half hours worth of Googling, and finally found an ISO for Windows CE 6.0 R3. This is the exact operating system right here that is on our head units. And actually what I'm able to do with this ISO now is put it on something else. I can put it on another computer, a very old netbook. I can put it on an old laptop. I can even run it in a virtual machine and actually modify these files on the fly and test them. I'm going to make another video that's like part three that's getting more advanced with the Veloster's head unit um, at a later date. That's going to be all done then. But as of right now, now I have all those files extracted thanks to the LGU to DIR. It's going to be right in here in the test folder. So in the storage card two, you can really kind of ignore that. It's not important. Um, but in storage card one is where everything is. So basically what you can see here is the bootloader, firmware, font files, um, there's standard TTF files. You can actually modify these if you really want to, to do custom font formats on your Veloster. That would look really cool on the screen to have like cursive or something like that, or you could really confuse your friends and do wingdings. That would be hilarious to show up at a car meet with a wingdings. Um, Grace note. I still don't know what Grace note is. I just know it's something our head units have. IBM. Um, this is just some stuff for the physical hardware, language packs, the models. It's just a car list here. This is every car that is supported or that has our head unit in it, but it's a physical number, so it's not something easy to figure out. 
uh, sounds. You can actually, if we could figure out how to get these PCM files, I haven't done time or had time to Google those yet. Uh, we could actually physically modify those. The system folder, this is all the physical DLLs, the .map files, the executables. Once I have the virtual machine up and running, we'll be able to actually see these on screen on a recording. I have never tried to play this MP4. I don't think it plays at all. Because it is just 3 KB. Yeah, it doesn't play. Okay, so that's just a blank file. Like it says, I guess I should have just learned to read. But the point of this video today is modifying the skins of the video. Or the vehicle's head unit. So as you can see, there's a type A, B, and C. I am currently working on trying to figure out how it knows these are there. I'm going to eventually add a type D just to see if it works. If type D doesn't show up on the head unit at all um, in the list, I will go in and figure out which executable in that system folder actually controls that and has that list of those type ABCs um, for the skins. But I'm pretty sure I can find those. It shouldn't be too hard. So as you can see here, um, my favorite is personally the dark uh, the dark theme, quote unquote, and you can go in, you'll see pretty much everything in here. Here's your CD, MP3, these are the icons, your Pandora icon. You can really figure out which one you're using just by going through here. So this is definitely the theme I'm using when it comes to these because I recognize this background. I like dark themes. I always have, if you ever see any of the websites I build or things like that, I always have a dark theme on my website. It's just how I've always liked it. Um, your main, this is going to be like buttons and stuff like that. You can modify all these files very easily. USB. USB is usually the main one I'm on, so this is going to be the one that I modify. And then XM, I never use the XM. It's pointless for me. You can go common and backgrounds is in the common folder. So these are going to be the ones I want to modify. So you want to get yourself a photo editor. I personally use Adobe Fireworks. It's just my preference. You can use Fireworks, uh, GIMP. Um, you can use almost anything. Oh, God damn it. It's not going to let me paste that in. Okay. Nah, Jesus. I, I put this in a stupid spot. Why didn't I have this in a simpler spot? In an easier spot, I guess, would be better. English, if you are really all about that. So I'm going to open up the main backgrounds. I don't need the AV. I'll do info. I'm definitely going to do this one. Uh, yeah, we'll open those ones. For right now. So for right now you can see this one is the Veloster one. You know, it is what it is, but I want to make it a little bit more special for my liking. I used to do some modifying of cars and things like that in Photoshop and in Fireworks. Um, I ended up starting a game creation project called Car Customizers that I just never ended up finishing. It, I don't want to say it got boring because it definitely didn't get boring. I just sort of ran out of experience of things to add. So as you can see, one of the cars that I have is the Veloster. So we're going to open this up. This was my friend Brandon's car when they first came out. I'm going to actually go to my layers real quick. I need to undo everything. And then I want that not visible. The only things I want visible are the car itself. There's some other wheels there. So basically this is all I need. So I'm going to copy all that. Go in here. Paste it. And then I'm going to group it. So it's all one image. And I can make it bigger or smaller here. So I'm going to put it right on my main page here. That simple, just to add that in there. And even then I can, you know, if I want to get super fancy, I can overlay it 
or I can do a hue of it. Oh, that looks ugly. Darken so it's like a shadow. And then at that point I could put it over the entire thing. But honestly, I'm just going to leave it like... Oh, no. I want it normal. There we go. So normal. And then I'm going to put this, honestly, in all the images. So I'm going to copy the original, but I'm going to save this. Just save it as it was, please. And then this is just going to be another background image. I'm going to group this, and I'm going to put it here, right in the middle. And then I'm honestly just going to darken it a bit. So it's not as a uh, in your f ooh, in your face, so to speak. I just want it sort of there. Ooh, no. I usually have to mess with these. I always forget what does what because I'm just not able to remember for some odd reason what does what. Oh, come on. No, that's gross. That looks kind of cool. It's like the ghost of it. Not reflection. Glow I kind of like, actually. I might actually just leave it like that. Yeah, you know what? We're going to go with glow. I like that. Where was it? I like that. So we're going to go with Glow. And then I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to save this one as well. Save as BMP. Don't resample. Make it a little smaller so it's like down in the corner. I'm literally making this one just for an example. I'm not going to honestly um make this as the only theme adjustment but this is just to get the idea out there to show you guys hey it's possible to do this i'm gonna make this a little smaller in the corner and then honestly with this video i'll have uh images on my facebook pages and in the ohio velocitors group i'm kind of going to try to make this like a uh a thing that's only found there maybe i don't know I don't know how I'm going to play this yet. But honestly, I'm just going to leave that there in that one. There's supposed to be another background when it comes to like a... Uh, the backgrounds for the MP3 screen and things like that. I need to find all those backgrounds still. Um, so there's honestly, there's a ton of folders to go through. Um, but you can always figure out kind of what's what. Most of the stuff, it's just going to be an icon. That's for like a Wi-Fi or something, I guess. I don't have that on my car, so I've never seen that image before. Backup camera stuff, I don't have anything to do with that. Is this that? No, this is all that stuff. Okay. This is the eco game. I have no idea what that is. Somebody should explain it to me because it's kind of a silly thing. Um, no backgrounds there. I'm just making sure I got everything I wanted to modify. What are all these? Oh, okay. I guess it's like a test thing. Um, setup. Displays. The clock is here. I have not yet figured out a way to keep the clock on the screen at all times. Um, I still need to find the clock's code. I haven't found it yet it's something i want to find obviously it's something we all want is to be able to leave that up but i don't know if i'm going to find it if i'm being honest with you here's the screen savers as well and i know you can modify these uh screen savers and things like that you can make your own screen savers right off the usb but this is going further than that this is actually physically modifying these themes as you can see like these guys here that's what I'm physically modifying, is the entire theme's background. So it'll be seen on my MP3 screen. It'll be seen, you know, on my EQ and all that. I modified all the backgrounds that I personally know of. 
yeah. So yeah, I modified all the backgrounds I know of. Cool. So that should be everything when it comes to the skins. I don't believe there's any others. Unless, you know, I'm falling far behind. But a good way to find out is BG. Just search BG. Um... Oh. Hold on. So yeah, I modified the one that has to deal with my car. Or the theme I use. Okay. That's what I wanted to make sure of. But uh, modifying the boot image is very simple. Um, you would simply modify the... Uh, Initial Veloster screen, that's probably this one. Let's go to Open File Location. Where is that Open File Location? So that's just going to be under your... Uh, I just modified that. So that's very simple. But this will always pop up on mine as well. And the best thing that you can do now is now that you know which one you modified, you can actually just go in and basically just copy this whole folder. Get a USB thumbstick, and I thought I had one next to me. Oh my god, I am not prepared. You get a USB thumbstick. We'll just treat this like it's my USB thumbstick. Make sure it's a FAT32 thumbstick. Um, oh, wait, I found one. Uh -huh, I'm terrible at making videos, can you tell? You get a FAT32 thumbstick, which that's going to be my Linux Live one, but I don't care. That's not needed. Um... If it has stuff on it, you can format it very easily. Put it to FAT32, quick format. Okie dokie. It'll be done in a second. There it goes, format complete. Open up your My Linux Live. Well, open up your USB. Simply paste that folder, because you already know where these are, thanks to... Um, it closed my folder for my themes. Thanks, computer. But you already know where those files are thanks to extracting them into the test folder here. So you know to go to skin, type A, common, BG, and that's all the images that were modified. So now you can go in on your physical car, in your car, and modify these images. It's very simple. You know, I probably should have modified that one. I'm going to modify that one real quick. I just realized I didn't, and it's probably going to be the one that I wanted that'll be on my screen at all times. Because that's just my luck. I do. I am going to forward these uh, skin files to a friend of mine who is very good at photo editing and all that. And see if he can make some sort of background for us, um, or some sort of theme for us. And we'll hopefully go from there and get something really cool going. There we go. So we'll put this down here on this one. Let's put it right there. And I kind of like how it glows like that, but we're going to go back to normal here. We're actually going to do an auto levels on the color. Hue and saturation. you honestly though oh that's the exact same color as my car I did that entirely by accident I own a green one so you know what I like it do not like the saturation modified modifies the windows don't like woo glowy there we go so we're going to leave it like that now my green Veloster is on my blue background. And if anything, I can always go... Ah! <laughs> that was disgusting. That was not what I wanted. There we go. I can even make it... On that one, it would come out pink. I can make it green. That looks really freaking cool. I like it. 
I like that a little bit more, actually. There we go. And I'm going to move this over here. There we go. All right. Save that. Save as BMP. And then now I need to copy that. I just had a child screaming in my hallway. That's awesome. Put it on my BG folder. And then next time I make a video for this car hacking, I know this is long-winded and pointless. Next time I have a video for this, it will actually be about, uh, see, like, here's the boot image, actually. It's named boot, so it's not hard to figure it out. Um, next video I make, it'll be about installing this stuff onto your car, and we'll go from there. So I'll talk to you guys in a future video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I know this was long-winded. I don't edit my videos. Sorry, it's just my style. Uh, some of my subscribers like it, some of my subscribers hate it, but you know what? You always learn something. If I run into a hiccup, that's why it's not edited. I'd like to see, I'd like you guys to see how I fix the hiccups. So, talk to you guys later. Peace out.